Hey guys, this is Steve, and this is a very abbreviated episode of Crave because it's Independence Day this week in the United States, and we only have a three-day work week, so here we go, here's Crave! Do you ever wonder what it might be like to have the perfect golf swing? I know I do. Well, now you can if you're a robot named Jeff, equipped with GPS and a driving range full of washing machines. In a recent advertisement for the European Golf Tour, the robotic golfer known as Jeff took on golf pro and two-time major champion Rory McIlroy in a battle of the washing machines. Unfortunately, Rory was too much of a golfer for Jeff to handle and beat him soundly by landing a few golf shots inside washing machines from a good distance. Check out the full video at the European Tour's official YouTube channel. No, this does not compute. Have you ever thought about doing something else, like becoming a photocopier? And just when you thought the Kinect might have finally run out of applications, researchers at North Carolina State University say they have developed a system for cockroaches to perform search and rescue missions. Researchers were able to steer the roaches by sending small electrical impulses to wires attached to the bug's antenna. The researchers then sketched a pathway for the roaches and had the Connect system detect where they were relative to the path. Co-author of the research project, Alper Boskert, says that in the future they want to incorporate mapping and radio frequency techniques that will allow us to use small groups of cockroaches to explore and map disaster sites. So if you're ever trapped in a disaster situation and see a small army of roaches coming your way with little backpacks on, don't freak out, they are just there to rescue you. Designer Jake Evil has invented the Cortex Exoskeleton Cast Concept, or AKA the 3D printed cast. Currently it's only a concept, but it's a very good concept. The way it would work is by having the patient's arm, wrist, leg, or whatever is broken, x-rayed and then 3D scanned. Each cast would be individualized to provide more support at the site of the injury. The casts are strong, lightweight, and full of air holes, allowing the patient to reach that difficult itch that is always hard to scratch. So that's a win. The smell camera can capture smells that you might want to save or send to a friend. Using technology developed by the perfume industry, designer Amy Radcliffe has created a device called Madeline, which captures and stores smells. The device works similarly to a 35mm camera which captures light information of a visual. The Madeline captures the molecular information in a smell. You simply place an odor object under a glass dome which is connected to the device by tubes. The pump sucks the scent molecules and captures them in a resin trap. That trap can then be sent to a lab for analysis and to be recreated much like perfume. Radcliffe calls this idea scentography and sees a future where smells will play a bigger role in our preservation of memories in photographs and video. All right, guys, that's the show. Thank you very much for watching. As always, you can find all these news stories at CNET's Crave blog at crave.cnet.com, and we'll see you next time. The forecast for this week's Crave giveaway is awesome. Crave is giving away the Natatmo Urban Weather Station, which delivers real-time data on temperature, humidity, barometric pressure, and CO2 levels to your mobile device. Go to the blog and enter to win.